Hi, I'm Glenn from Trade Classics. I'm here today with Alan and his 1960 Mark II Jaguar. Um, so, how long have you owned this Jaguar for? Um, I've had the car for three years, almost exactly three years. So nearly, 60, nearly, nearly three years to the yes. day. And what makes you want to sell? Well, um, I wasn't going to buy this car in the first place, <laughs> but uh, I, was, I, I worked for a Jaguar specialist and I was asked by a friend from this church um, to go and look at his neighbour's car and advise her on, on, uh, on how to dispose of it or to sell it and I went and bought it <laughs> so um, I'm selling it now because we're moving house and downsizing uh, I've got another classic Jaguar and uh, I can only really keep one where we're moving to so, so that's why it's uh, up for it, sale one regretfully other, and unfortunately <laughs> this is the one that's going it is yes. yeah yeah okay fair enough um, so three years of ownership what have you done in those three years with it? Well, when I first got the car, um, it had done about 500 miles in the last 10 years. And it had been out every year for an MOT, um, which was only a few miles. I actually bought it in Loughborough, where it still is now. Um, the first time I, I tried to drive out of Loughborough, the brakes failed. The uh, servo uh, leaked and it pulled all the uh, fluids through the exhaust and out the back big cloud of smoke so I've overhauled the brakes from top to bottom new yeah. servo master cylinder I put four pot front calipers Cooper craft calipers on the front to give the brakes a more modern uh, feel um, rebuilt the rear brake calipers new pads all around um, another thing that was not quite right with the car when I got it was it sat too high at the front looking at the history it had new coil springs fitted um, and they still look brand new because with it not being on the road very much but they're obviously wrong so I got the correct springs and, and got the height it's, it's correct yeah. uh, and I fitted the electronic ignition on it I sorted the interior lights uh, had a little bit of bodywork done on the boot lid There's, they, they're renowned for bubbles along the bottom of the number plate yeah. right across um, so I had uh, a new panel welded in uh, professionally um, and I think that's it really yeah. I've had it serviced it in every year and, yeah, yeah. Uh, because I've done quite a few miles in the, yeah, con so so compared done, to what it was used yeah, to so you've done quite a few miles so about 4,000 yeah, in three years around the local area or? Uh, no no um, I've uh, I, when I first got it uh, the brakes right and I wanted to start stretching its legs a bit and um, first show I went to was in uh, Warwick, to the, in the middle of the town centre. Um, I went to Goresworth Hall in Cheshire with it, which is a sort of 200 mile round trip. Uh, been for a weekend in Liverpool, uh, been to Lincoln, so it's, it's had some good long so, so there's no trips. Real, and there's no real big concerns about, you know, lots of people have classic cars and they're like, I don't want to go more than two, three miles from home. Well, the lady that owned it before was like that. <laughs> And, uh, but no, I, I wanted to make sure it was usable and I wouldn't be scared of yeah, going yeah. a good distance. And, yeah. you know, mechanically I've made sure that, that you know, everything's up to scratch. Well, I had the clutch, uh, did all the clutch uh, cylinders on it as well. Yeah. Yeah. And so obviously you, you're taking them to show, you're taking it to show. I do, yeah. And is it just to go to the show or is it to actually put it out on show? Oh, to put it out on show. I like to, I like to show, talk to people it? about it and, they, you know, it seems yeah. to attract quite a lot of attention when I do yeah, go and even me photographing it today like I say I've had a couple of people come along and yeah you know they can't, they can't help yes. comment and you know other people they sort of obviously at the times we're in at the moment other people sort of look from a distance and you can see them just sort of having a look yeah. and going mm, yes. look at that, look at that. It does, uh, does attract interest yeah. yeah it's nice and shiny and um, Obviously, you're a bit of a specialist, on, you know, you know these cars. It's yeah, I work for a Jaguar yeah. specialist. So it's, yes. it's not like so, you just uh, bought it. I, I, it's, it's, yeah. It looks great and that's it. That's um, right, yeah. Under the engine bay, you know, in the engine bay, should I say, it looks great in there. Yeah, it's, it's the leads lovely. Are quite new on it. Uh, I haven't replaced you the haven't leads, replaced but them. I have put the distributor in. Yeah. 
yeah. uh, and it had a new cap yeah. and rotor arm. They look, they look nice, but, nice uh, and clean. But it's yeah, it yeah. is. It's it's in good order. And just in general, the wheels yes. are actually amazing. The, yeah, I love the original steel wheels. And yeah. Even the tyres. I mean, yes. A, all very, matching. Yeah, yeah. Very nice. Very matching. I don't know if you know how old they are. Oh, it's in the history, but I, I couldn't history, tell you yeah. <laughs> off the which, top of my head. Which brings us on quite nicely to car history. What what comes with it? Is there is there any documentation? Oh, there's a big there's a big file, um, mainly from when it was res the body was restored when the the, the uh, previous owner it was her father's car, um, and it stood for twenty years. He, he couldn't drive it because he had a head injury. Yeah. So when he died, she inherited the car in 1994. In 1997, she had the bodywork restored yes. because it had been stood for 20 years, yeah. um, had whatever needed doing mechanically, but then, and then it was used. But her husband used to go to the golf club and back in it, and that was about all he did. Yeah, yeah. That's yes. it. And we're, we're, we've been talking about that fine balance between restoration and replacement, haven't we? Yes. Um, Obviously, we were talking about the interior. Obviously, it's the, the original seat. It's, yeah, original interior. Beautiful. Aren't yeah. You? When you sit, I sat in here. The first time I sat in it, I got that smell. Of, it smells lovely. Yeah. It, it's not a musky. Yes. It's not a musky smell that you, no. some cars have. It's got that. It's almost like a new car smell in there. It was yes. beautiful uh, from the seats and obviously the wood. The wood dash you just you refurbished it, it, it in you didn't just want to polished replace. it not not refurbished yeah, uh, yeah. you know i wanted to keep it nice and original and yeah it's got patina but yeah yeah it's, i it's love that little tray tables for the back yeah the yes it's got a 1960s daily daily mail, daily mail <laughs> the, oh yeah the, the yeah there's a newspaper in the, the newspaper in the door in pocket the, yes it's, it's yeah it's just nice yes um, and yeah and she started beautifully earlier it sounds yeah. amazing the exhaust system is it uh, it's still a, a mild steel exhaust mild steel I, yeah i did put a, a new box on it there's a double box on That's these on the back, yeah. uh, and uh, that uh, didn't last very long when it started to be used it's yeah, split yeah. so i put a new one of those on yeah you yeah. forget all the things you've done and yeah the history file has got all the receipts for the restoration in it yeah. uh, plus everything i've done yeah yeah and mot is going right back to early well 90s early 90s I think yeah, yeah. Uh, plus a few from its earlier years 1967 uh, right through yeah, to 1971 yeah. so, so you know there's a good bit of history in there shady, but yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah a, bit, a bit patchy back there but that's yeah, it but there's still some some old stuff yes um, but yeah you, know, you just look around it's got a nice little you know you, you point out to me it's got a smaller rear view mirror that's it's right that's an early feature light, yeah know, so it's actually got a lot of the original stuff I've noticed the front badge and the, yeah, I kept the originals the gear, on there. The gear stick knob. Yeah. Even though they're quite beat. Yeah. Been used yes. And, but it's a nice little touch to actually have the original. It, it is. Just sticking yeah, the that's, that's, that's what I wanted to do. And, yeah. And everything works with it. Yeah. But the only thing that doesn't work is the uh, rev counter. Yeah. Um, and I've replaced the the um, little. The drive. Uh, no, it's a, it's like an um, electric dynamo oh, thing. Right, yeah on the back of the cab mm. replace that thinking it would work but no but so that does look need looking into further yeah yeah but yeah and that, I, can, I mean i think that pretty much covers it you know you you didn't envisage you didn't see yourself buying it but you bought no, it. no i didn't and i've had a, a very enjoyable three years with it yeah showed it, yeah you talk to people about it I've, I've had the pleasure of looking at it today and photographing it and sort of getting around it and enjoying it really and and it's, it's a beautiful car it really is yeah yeah. Um, and I think that pretty much wraps up this video. Okay. Um, you're going to be doing the on the road video. Yes. With, I believe with your daughter. I will. Um, yeah. Where also you'll talk about the actual the way the car actually drives and how it handles on the road. Okay. Just just sort of the way it looks and what works on it. But, but yeah, hopefully there's a lot of information for the guys watching this video and they can decide whether you know it's a car for them yeah. or not. Yeah. Good. So, and if not, time. I'll get to keep it. <laughs>